Hello students, you're watching this uh, exercise 04 video lesson in the series of these video lessons. So, so far you should have EX 01, 02, 03 completed before you start working on exercise 04. In this exercise, we see just a front view and an isometric view. And that's because this object is cylindrical. You really only need these two views to be able to create this part, manufacture this part. And all you need are the one, two, three, four dimensions of this part in order to build it. So this should be pretty straightforward. You might not even need to watch this whole video lesson in order to create the part and the technical drawing. So if you want to give it a shot on your own, I highly encourage that. Let's see what you can do. Uh, if you want to continue watching, then go ahead and continue watching. So let me get this part started. So on Autodesk Inventor 2020, I am clicking on part. That's going to load up. Let me go back and look at this. So I'm starting off with this 40 millimeter diameter of a cylindrical section here. That is 30 in height or depth. So I need to make sure I go to tools, document settings, and change the units to millimeters. Apply, close. Clicking on 3D model, clicking on starting a 2D sketch, clicking on the XY plane. Then I'm going to click on circle. The origin, I'm going to click on the origin and start from there. And it looks like I'm already set to the diameter dimension because the dashed line going from end to end of the circle is uh, in the diameter <laughs> setting. If it's not, while you're moving your mouse, you can right click and you'll see that you can change it to radius or right click, change it to diameter. Oops, I didn't click, there we go. So the diameter should be 40. So I'm gonna type four zero and press enter. Click on front to get that to be in a good view. If you didn't do it that way, you can always just go back, click dimension, click on the circle, make sure the little arrows are from end to end showing diameter. If they're not, you right click and go up to dimension type and make sure diameter is checked. Okay, so I don't need to do that, so I'm going to tap escape and then finish sketch. I'll click on the little home button to get that into view. And the length of that is 30. I'm going to click extrude, make distance A say 30, click OK. Click on the little home to get that into view. Now this section here, we have a diameter of 20 and then also another same length of 30. So on this surface, right click, new sketch, click circle. And the, the one of the main reasons I always start with the origin for circular objects is because now the origin is the center of the circle or this next circle that I need to make, which is in 20 millimeters of diameter. New sketch, click extrude. Extrude that by 30, click OK, and the part is complete. Now we just save it and make the technical drawing. So this is going to be EX04, your name, click Save. Click on the little drop down menu, click on Drawing. Let that load up. Okay, uh, we got to adjust our sheet. So right click on sheet one, and a sheet, make that size A, click OK. Right click on ANSI large, delete. Open this up here. Drawing sources, ANSI A, insert. Okay, fantastic. So now we click on base. And the base view is showing a, it's showing it in the view that we don't actually want for this particular part because we want it to look like this. So what we'll do is using the view cube, we will click on one of these arrows. I'm going to click on this one and see if it turns it the way I want it to. Yeah. So the top arrow is the one I clicked and wanted it to be in this view. The one to one scale is fine. I'm going to leave that right there. And we only want this top view. So I'm going to move my mouse to the top right and click to get the isometric view of that and then click OK. Now this is not the view I want the isometric to be in, but I needed to click it up there so that it would stay there. 
and now I need to adjust it. So I'm gonna move my mouse up, like near it so that the red outline goes around it and double click. And now here, its own view cube pops up. Let me click on the little home and that is the view I want it in. So now I can actually move that and that'll be in the view I need it to be in. I'm also gonna click on shaded so it stays colored and click OK. And I'm going to move that over a little bit. So since we only need this one view for this part, since it's because it's a cylindrical part, um, that's a good thing. We're just going to match the dimensions we see on the example. And we need to make sure we are in the correct settings. So click on Tools, Document Settings. Make sure your active standard is in ANSI MM. Apply Close. Click on Annotate. Click on Dimension. Click on that dimension, click on this dimension, and click on this dimension. Now here's something I want you to notice. Right here, this little section right here, where that extension line comes out, it's touching the part. We don't want that. We never want the dimension lines to touch the part. So I'm going to tap escape a couple times, I'm going to click on 30, and I'm going to press delete. So to do it properly, click on dimension and click on the corners. And now you'll see the dimension, the extension line does not touch the part. That's something you need to be aware of and always make sure that you make that correction. There's also a center line going through the whole piece. Um, so we'll add that in a moment. Let me finish this up. Okay, so there, there's all the dimensions you'll need and we'll make them look pretty in a moment. Click on the centerline bisector option. And for this one, we're gonna click on this top corner and this bottom corner. Oops, that's not what I wanted to happen. I wanna click on this line and this line. Nope, that is not what I wanted to happen either. Those two lines, okay. So I thought it would make a long line if I clicked on those two corners and I was wrong. But I need this center line to go all the way through this part. So I'm tapping escape. I'm going to click on that line and grab this little dot right here and pull it down. Okay, and that's what I want to see. I want to see a center line that looks just like that. Now let's update these dimensions to make them look a little more attractive. So I'm going to right click on a dimension, make sure your, your mouse is actually on top of the numbers. And then you right click, click on edit dimension style. And it takes a moment for the menu to pop up. And here we go. So in the units, click on precision, make it at zero. And we're gonna go to text. For the orientation, we want to click in this menu and click on the inline horizontal and click save and close. And now we have a nice, beautiful technical drawing for this example four part. Our next step is to go to File, Eye Properties, Summary, update the summary section to say EX01 or 04, I'm sorry. Subject is Engineering. Author is your name. Manager is me. Company, you can put whatever you want there. If you want to write our school name, that's fine. Then apply, close, and you'll see your title block gets updated with that information. Save it. And then go to file. Okay, so anytime you submit a technical drawing, this is what I want you to do. You're going to go to file, export, PDF. It'll stay the same exact file name except it's a different type of file it's a PDF file click Save and that's the file you will upload to the Google Classroom to submit for credit there you have it that is exercise 04 keep moving through the exercises and if you need help make sure to ask questions